Capricorn Sun Moon Rising, June 2022. Mercury is turning direct Capricorns on June the 3rd, uh, square by your planet and in your fifth house. So if there were some complications in your romantic life, if there was some reevaluation of your romantic life or some complications in your creative life, maybe some business idea that's your own that you've been, you know, it's been delayed or it's been you're redoing it or anything that it's your own creation. It might be business, it might be something creative, but it is your own ideas that you might have been redoing that might have showed some complexity, some problem that you have to fix, redo. Uh, well, now when Mercury starts moving direct, you will see improvement and you'll see the complications there improving, but not immediately because first Mercury is quite Saturn. There might be some final push. Capricorns in regards to matters with children, with creative projects, with creative ideas, self-expression and of course romantic partnerships and um, the final push. And then after the first week, I think you'd see some very easing off with any difficulties there and improvements and seeing better and better results in such matters. Um, in regards to the other big event this month, your planet Saturn is turning retrograde. So maybe you've noticed slowing down of things in the last 10 days and especially the first 10 days of June because your planet is almost stationary. It's not moving. Almost the whole June, it's not moving. <laughs> Slowly starts moving backwards. So there is some kind of big reorientation of your outlook and the direction of your life that is happening. And maybe you might feel stuck for a little bit and like, oh, where am I going? I, it's like, I don't know what to do. This is the kind of feeling. I know something is changing, but I don't know where it's going and what to do. But you'll start noticing gradually, maybe mid-June, you'll start like adapting to this new reorientation. Sometimes a crisis situation can happen when your planet starts turning retrograde because you know that's a change of some sort but it's it's turning retrograde in your and it's also asking you to slow a little bit down you know um so you can see things more from a distance and that will give you a better perspective more detached perspective that's good so if things are a bit slowed down don't worry about that uh, but then saturn is retrograding in your second house and that's for the third time since two years uh, in, 20, in 2020, 2021, now 2023, I think it might be the last time. And that's kind of, can this slowing down can give you a opportunity to pull yourself away and distance yourself and see from a different perspective, especially patterns regarded to money, to self-worth, to finances, to resources, what you're doing wrong. Uh, is there some negative beliefs or negative practices that you're doing wrong? You can really become aware of them now in this period in June while Saturn is changing directions. And you can work on them for the next five months while Saturn is retrograde to eliminate them. That's the purpose of Saturn. Become aware of something, eliminate it or restructure it. So it might be a great time to restructure your finances, your spending. Some of you might, might start saving for something that you want to invest in long term. So it's, if it's with a goal, it's great. Uh, but because Saturn is you investing yourself a lot in re, let's say not re, uh, restructuring your security, restructuring your approach to finances, and most importantly on the deepest level, really changing somehow and restructuring your self worth. Um, sometimes Saturn can really depress the self worth of a person when it's in the second house initially of its transit, and then a person starts becoming aware of the deeper self-worth reasons that they have to for, for better self-worth, the longer lasting ones, the, the, the ones that are really real, so to speak. And uh, so some of you might be changing prices, might be changing, uh, might be re-evaluating re re their salaries. Sometimes someone can even take a salary cut of some reason so they can go to a job that is more appropriate for them that in the long term will have positive longer effects you know uh, for their status or sometimes a person just can uh, take a very different approach and restructure their uh, self-worth 
in a sense that I think I explained it already. I don't want to make it too long. Sorry. <laughs> and another thing, the second house is, and I am advising when Saturn is retrograde in your second house for the next five months, be a bit more cautious with finances. Don't take risks. Um, maybe you might have to pay off some old financial debts that come off, or you might have to spend money for something that it comes up that needs to be fixed or repaired or, you know, for something else to invest on. But this spending of money, because Saturn is in its own sign, uh, it will be resolved very wisely. And by the end of the period, if there were some complications even with finances over the next five months, you'd be able to resolve this patiently, slowly, uh, in a more traditional way, uh, following lawful steps by working harder, by really structuring and organizing things better, and you'll have a very good solution. On the other hand, Saturn retrograde in the second house is a great time to reevaluate your eating habits, to restructure them, to limit them, to eliminate something, to make them more efficient, you know, <laughs> and the final results again will be that in five months you can have a much more uh, organized eating routine or much healthier eating routine <laughs> overall okay then on june the 30th 13th <laughs> mercury will move into your sixth house where the sun is uh, and venus will move into your sixth house on june 23rd so we'll have a lot of energies here in that area of the horoscope which corresponds to work for you so some of you are responsibilities around work can pick up, but in a positive way, you might be enjoying it even more. The work environment might improve, some new project can come for you in some way, new colleagues or new employees, if you want to call it that. But because they're two gentle planets, Venus and Mercury, things go smoothly and more enjoyably. Generally, there can always be exceptions. And of course, the sixth house is your attitude towards health, your health routines. Uh, Saturn will be helping from the second house to restructure your eating habits, what you put in your body to have more, no, more no power, uh, no saying power, while Venus, Mercury towards the end of the month uh, in your sixth house will help you make any health changes more enjoyable and gives you more kind of a desire. These are two planets of desire, Raja planets as they call them. And to bring, like, you know, if you have more desire for something, you're more likely to do it for a longer term, to pay more attention to your health overall. And you can get a lot of things done, basically. And your work, especially if your work requires writing, speaking, communicating, or anything to do with beauty, with relationships, can really pick up as well. Any kind of service can become more enjoyable or more satisfying in any sort. Uh, there is a full moon on June the 14th. And it's happening in your 12th house. So around that time, you can have some very powerful intuitive insights in the middle of the month. Maybe dreams that you receive messages uh, from, from departed ones, because this is a very psychic house. Um, maybe just sudden illuminations that you download information of some sort. Or sudden awareness about your own hidden patterns. Uh, 12th house is the house of hidden vices, as they call them. Some of those can be addictions, you know, self-sabotaging behaviors of any sort. You can have some realization. The moon, the full moon, the full moon brings uh, some something hidden from the subconscious to the surface of your consciousness, uh, and to complete it, to remove it. Twelve house is a moksha house of liberation, so you can be liberated from some limiting self-sabotaging behavior or get awareness more about it and. Uh, or eliminate something that is it's time for it to be eliminated from your life all right um, and then I think that's about it guys I think we covered everything uh, Venus will be making a series of conjunctions in your fifth house I forgot to speak about that from the 11th till the 19th of June Venus in your fifth house will join Uranus and the North Node. These are two very exciting energies of new and fifth house can be a romantic, romantic experience or doing something in fifth house is also leisure, hobbies, um, enjoyments of any sorts, having fun time. You can do something 
fun that you've never done before, something very unusual, some new, very unusual romantic interest can appear on the horizon for you. Or if you're already in a romantic relationship, it can be that you do something excitable with your partner or something even a bit disruptive, something that you haven't done before. But you have to be a bit cautious as well, because at the same time, Venus is square Uranus, uh, sorry, square Saturn. So they can be, if a new such romantic interest appears, they can be some some disappointment or some obstacles within that period that has to be overcome as well. And fifth house is creative idea. Some new creative idea can appear out of the blue that is very exciting for you. And you have to approach it with a bit more practical mind. Not Yes, it will bring you the energy of the novice, of the excitement, but you need to take into consideration more practical matters as well because of the Saturn square. Um, and of course... Fifth house is creative project. Okay, we talked about that. Fun activities. Well, that's about it, guys. We covered it. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too big. This, this Saturn retrograde that's happening. But you're used to that energy. Your Saturn rule. Uh, it's specific focus on your finances this year and your self-worth. And, um, and, uh, and restructuring it in some way. Look, taking at it from a different perspective. Thank you.